There's a YouTuber by the name of Wild Bill for America. Not exactly sure how to describe Wild Bill for America. The only word that honestly comes to mind is... <laughs> He's the only person that I've ever watched and just sat there feeling sorry for myself. Why am I watching this? Am I in hell? How much time has passed? 34 seconds? I could swear I've been here for an eternity. What's wrong with Wild Bill for America? Well, let's start by reviewing his top three most viewed videos from his YouTube channel. The most viewed of which is entitled Secret Service Secrets, wherein Wild Bill tells us all about his friends in the Secret Service, and apparently they don't live up to their name, Secret Service, because they tell Wild Bill all the latest gossip on the presidents. And guess what? Every single Republican president has been nice and awesome and cool and smart. Yeah, even George Bush, our dumbest fucking president, is described by Wild Bill's friends in the Secret Service as the most intelligent person they've ever met and that has probably ever existed in the history of the world. President Ronald Reagan not only knew the names of every agent assigned to him, he also knew the names of all their children and how they were doing in school. Barbara Bush was known to head out into the cold, snowy night to make sure the agents on perimeter duty had warm enough clothing. The agents unanimously described George W. Bush as the most intelligent and disciplined president, always ready to share a smile and a joke. Whereas all the Democrat presidents have been horrible and mean and classist and cruel and stupid and vindictive and racist. The Clintons were completely different. Hillary despised the Secret Service agents and anyone who was law enforcement or military. Al Gore is described as openly disrespectful and arrogant. The Secret Service agents who are with Obama every day describe him as the sneakiest president ever. Michelle Obama is reported to be a hardcore racist who smiles for the cameras, but when they're gone, she makes it clear she hates white people. Okay, so here's the top three reasons why this is bullshit. Number one, politicians are the most image conscious people ever, even more so than celebrities. Politicians are uber concerned at all times about their fucking image. Do you honestly think that they would let stories like this get out? Reason number two, Secret Service agents are chosen for, among other things, their fucking discretion! They don't fucking kiss and tell! They're in the Secret Fucking Service, you moron! Number three! Even if these politicians did behave in this manner and the Secret Service agents relayed this fact to Wild Bill, he is violating their trust by making a big video about it. If this guy really had friends in the Secret Service, do you think he would jeopardize those connections just to make a stupid fucking YouTube video about how Democrats are mean? Horse shit. Horse shit. Horse shit. Horse shit. Wild Bill's next most popular video is entitled Liberals with Guns. It, it, basically, the contention of the video is that all of these people who've been, who've been doing these mass shootings and shit lately, they've all been liberals. That's the big story that the media is hiding. Liberals with guns, that's the real enemy. The Fort Hood killer was a registered Democrat Muslim. The Columbine shooters were too young to vote, but their families were registered Democrats and openly liberal. The Virginia Tech murderer wrote hate mail to President Bush. The Colorado theater killer was a registered Democrat. The assassin of kindergartners up in Newtown was a registered Democrat who hated Christians. The most brutal, vicious crimes in America are being committed by liberals with guns. Here's the fucking problem with this. I mean, I shouldn't even have to fucking explain the problem with this, but here's the problem with this. Liberals are the ones in this country who want to impose gun control. Whether you agree with that or not, the stated objective for proposing this gun control is to reduce violent fucking crime. People with that ideology are not going to be more prone to going and getting a gun and shooting a bunch of people up. That just doesn't make any sense. You, you don't think I can fucking summon some fucking Republican killers off the top of my head? What about 
the Oklahoma City fucking bomber, Timothy McVeigh, registered Republican, and his rhetoric was very anti-government. So, hey, what, what, what did she make of that? What about Ted Bundy? Serial killer Ted Bundy, intimately involved in the workings of the Republican Party. A major player in the Republican Party in his home state. Serial, in fact, most serial killers are white, male, and conservative. What does that mean? Really, it doesn't mean anything, because there's evil people who will identify as conservatives, there's evil people who will identify as liberals, there's evil people who will identify as apolitical. The, the human propensity for violence is more complicated than something that exists on party lines, okay? Wild Bill's next most popular video is entitled, Obama's Pig. And in this video, Wild Bill explains to us how frivolous lawsuits are really destroying America. And he talks about how Barack Obama, back when he was a senator, organized this big, massive fraud where all of these people uh, made false claims and ended up getting like $1.25 billion from the USDA because they all claim to be black farmers. But the scandal is there's not even that many black farmers in the country and Obama obviously just orchestrated this whole fucking mess. Frivolous lawsuits are a cancer on America. 400 black farmers sued the Department of Agriculture saying they had been discriminated against in getting loans for the previous 14 years. In 1999, the farmers won their case and the Department of Agriculture agreed to pay them each $50,000 to settle. Fast forward to 2010, suddenly the Department of Agriculture found itself being forced to pay an additional $1.2 billion on the Pigford case. So what happened? Well, in 2008, a junior senator named Barack Obama got a law passed that reopened the Pigford case to allow more plaintiffs, and what we got was Obama's first billion dollar fraud against the American people. In 1997, Timothy Pigford sued the USDA for discriminating against black farmers. Now, at first there was about 400 other families that were uh, involved in this class action lawsuit. Eventually, there were about 15,000. When the lawsuit went to court with these 15,388 claimants, the claimants won. And they received $769,400,000. Now, at this point, with $770 million having been paid out to these claimants, Obama is not even yet involved in this story, okay? Some black farmers were pissed that they didn't get to uh, put their claims in, basically. And so, in 2006 and 2007, respectively, Republican Senators, Republican Senators George Allen and Charles Grassley both tried to pass bills through Congress that would enable new claimants in the Pigford lawsuit. Republicans tried to do this. It wasn't until 2008 that several senators, one of which was Barack Obama, went to the Senate's House Agricultural Committees, who were working on a new farming bill, and asked that they please include uh, allowing new claimants in this lawsuit in that particular farming bill. And the committee followed their advice, they allowed new claimants, and eventually the amount of claims paid in the case ballooned up to $1.25 billion. Barack Obama is barely involved. Barely fucking involved. And you know I don't like Obama. I fucking think Obama's terrible. I have a video on my channel called Impeach Obama, and I fucking mean it. But he had nothing to do with this. And he certainly can't be tied to any fraud. So we've seen Wild Bill's top three most popular videos, and what have they contained? Lies, bullshit, stupidity, lies, bullshit, stupidity, lies, bullshit. What's that third thing again? Oh yeah, stew fucking pity. You know what the saddest thing about this whole Wild Bill for America thing is? That hat. That could actually be a pretty cool hat if someone hadn't put it on a horse's ass and filmed the results. Fuck you, Wild Bill. You're not for America. You're not for anything but 
retarded rednecks who I'm surprised they can even use fucking YouTube. I'm TJ Kirk, better known as The Amazing Atheist. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, comment on this video, rate this video, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. I've got a new book out. It's called The Douchebag Bible. It is a compilation of my three major books, which are Scumbag, Musings of a Subhuman, In Defense of Evil, Why Good is Bad and Bad is Good, and Neckbeard Uprising, all contained within this one handy-dandy volume. So buy that below.